Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Geo. In this video, we shall learn the monobactams, which are a type of beta-lactam antibiotics, but neither penicillins nor cephalosporins. With the discovery of monocyclic compounds in 1981, the trend toward the simplification of beta-lactam antibiotic structures has reached the ultimate. The term monobactam describes both their source and chemistry. Mono has taken from its structure since these compounds are monocyclic compounds and bactam is taken from their source as they are bacterially produced compounds. Thus, the monobactams are beta-lactam antibiotics which contain only one cyclic ring, which means they are structurally monocyclic beta-lactams that are not fused to another ring. All monobactams contain the 2-oxoacetididine, one sulfonic acid moiety. In comparison with beta-lactam antibiotics, these compounds may be weaved as derivatives of 3-amino monobactamic acid. The general monobactam structure allows for structural alteration at the single locus that is R. The side sulfur group is joined to the nitrogen atom of the beta-lactam ring. The sulfonate oxygen atoms are in the same positions as the carboxylate oxygens in the conventional beta-lactams. The simple monocyclic structure of monobactams presents a challenge to structure activity relationships based on features of the conventional beta-lactams. Clearly, with the monocyclic structure, there is no steric activation and the sulfonate residue is coplanar with the four-membered ring. It seems that the reactivity of the beta-lactam ring is solely due to the electron withdrawal by the sulfonate group. The availability of synthetic methods to modify the simple basic structure of monobactams will provide an excellent tool for testing the specificity of penicillin-sensitive enzymes and structure affinity relationships in penicillin-binding proteins. The monobactams are produced by bacteria. They have been isolated from bacterial strains of Bacillus lichiniformis, which is specific for and highly sensitive to the molecules containing a beta-lactam ring. The first monobactams isolated are sulfazacin and isosulfazacin, which are characterized by a sulfonic group as a substituent at the lactam nitrogen and by a dipeptide in the position alpha to the carbonyl. Their activity is quite poor against gram-positive bacteria but fair against gram-negative ones and they have been used as starting materials for the synthesis of derivatives. On the basis of the novel nucleus, that is 3-amino monobactamic acid, abbreviated 3-AMA, possessed by these antibiotics, a potent monobactam named azitrionum has been synthesized. Astrionum is the only commercially available monobactam and is active against gram-negative bacteria and was approved by the FDA in 1986. Commercial astrionum is made synthetically but was originally isolated from the bacterium Chromobacterium violaceum. The structure of astrionum possesses a four-membered beta-lactam ring and a five-membered thiazole ring, but this thiazole ring is not fused to the beta-lactam ring. It is highly active against most gram-negative bacteria such as Neisseria and Pseudomonas and is very stable to most types of beta-lactamases including Staphylococcal, although it is without effect on the growth or viability of Staphylococcus aureus strains. It is useful antibiotic since it is resistant to some beta-lactamases including metallo-beta-lactamases but are sensitive to extended spectrum beta-lactamases. The drug is especially useful for the treatment of patients who are allergic to penicillin, cephalosporin or carbapenem. This is because monobactams, in spite of being lactams, are structurally different enough from the usual beta-lactam antibiotics so as to not induce allergic reactions. It is insensitive to beta-lactamases and is particularly active against gram-negative aerobes, 
including some strains of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Its use is mainly justified by the lower toxicity with respect to other antibiotics possessing the same spectrum of action and to the apparent lack of cross allergenicity with the penicillins. The disodium salt of Astrionum is very soluble in water. Other examples of monobactams are Tygemonam, Nocaldicins, in particular Nocaldicin A and Taptoxin. Taptoxin is produced by Pseudomonas syringae. It is the precursor to the antibiotic Taptoxin in beta-lactam. Nocaldicins are characterized by a group of seven closely related compounds, wizards Nocaldicins A, B, C, D up to G, with Nocaldicin A the most active compound. Nocaldicin A is obtained from the fermentation broth of a strain of actinomycetes that is Nocadia uniformis. It is stereochemically and biologically related to penicillin and cephalosporins. In vitro, nocadicin A is less active than carbenicillin against gram-negative bacteria and has no effect on gram-positive organisms. In vivo, nocadicin A is more active than carbenicillin because the potency of the nocadicin A is increased in the presence of the neutrophils, one type of phagocytic cells. Monobactam antibiotics exhibit no immunoglobulin E cross-reactivity reactions with penicillin but have shown some cross-reactivity with cephalosporins, most notably ceftazidine, which contains an identical side chain as astrionum. Monobactams can trigger seizures in patients with a history of seizures, although the risk is lower than with penicillins. Adverse effects to monobactams can include skin rashes and occasional abnormal liver functions. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the monobactams, a new class of beta-lactam antibiotics. In the next class, we shall discuss the aminoglycoside antibiotics. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.